How's everyone doing on this Wednesday morning? Are you all well this morning? I'm I'm not too bad. So I'm gonna take you to my uh, predictions that I did at the start, uh, start of the season where um where I take the teams fin finished the start of the season. I got Man C correct. Yippee. Forty I got Liverpool run, I was very close. I got my eye run. I was very close with that as well. I got um Chelsea correct. Perfect. <laughs> I got Tottenham run, they finished seventh. I got um I got Arsenal run. They finished eighth. Got Wolves run. I think Wolves finished thirteenth. I think. Leicester finished fifth. Like last season. Newcastle finished twelfth. I got uh, the Toffees Everton correct. It was for the first time this it was for the first time this season on the last day that um. Everton finished um, tenth in the in the league. Um, Southampton can't remember where they finished. I predicted Sheffield tonight in twelfth. Unfortunately, they finished bottom. They get the one spoon. That's what I say. Um, Aston Villa finished eleventh. Good season. Burnley, mm, where did Burnley, I think, was it 16 or 17th, that, Bur that Burnley finished this year. Brighton, was it 15th or 16th that they finished? I'm going to check the tables. Oh, Newcastle finished 12th. Southampton finished 15th. Brighton finished 16th. Burnley finished seventh. Mm, who else? Mm. Leeds had a great Leeds had a great season. I predicted Leeds in sixteenth, and they finished um, ninth ahead of Everton on goal difference. To be fair, that was actually a very good season by Leeds United. I think uh, Bielsa should have had most improved manager this first year in the Premier League. But to be fair, and and the next team, West Ham, I predicted them in seventeenth. They were a big surprise. Finishing sixth. Great season by David Myers. Can they keep that squad together next season? It's, it's gonna be tough for them. I predicted Crystal Palace in eighteenth. They finished 14 at the end. Fulham. Oh, I got, oh, I got, oh, I got, oh, I got. Oh, no, I didn't get Fulham correct. I was close. I predicted Fulham in 19th. They finished 18th. I predicted West Brom to finish bottom. They finished 19th. So I was very close. So, couple of predictions. I got close. I got, I got Liverpool close. My United close. Tottenham, two positions off. Arsenal, two positions off. Wolves, way off. About six positions off. Uh, six positions down. Leicester, three places higher. Newcastle, three places down. Everton, I got per correct. Southampton. Four places down. Sheffield United, eight places down. Ouch. Aston Villa, two places up. Burnley, three places down. Brighton, one place down. I was very close at Brighton. Leeds, seven places up. West Ham, 11 places up. Crystal Palace, four 
places up, is it? Yeah, four places. Fulham, one place up. West Brom, one place up. Oh, God. So, so to be fair, I actually got three correct. Man C, Chelsea, and Everton. So that, so that wasn't too bad. So that was three out of twenty. I would, I, I would actually take that. <laughs> what else? What else? Where would I go to? Mm. Go to. Oh, that's me. Mini leagues in the Champions League. I no, you can't all oh, see, unfortunately. Uh, cause, cause you can't see how many members there is. I think I've won most of the mini leagues in the Champions League. Mm, done pretty well this year. I'm gonna take you to. Oh, this is the one. Going into this Saturday's final, I'm eighty eight in the world. But. But really don't care about the overall rank to be honest with you. If I get if I finish in the top fifty or top sixty or top seventy in the world I would I would take that with one match left. But I think it's about it's about the Ireland number one. I'm twenty two points ahead at the moment. But that could all change if the captaincy doesn't work out in the final, but Everybody's gonna have a tricky one. In the final in the final game with the Champions League. I'm not gonna win it overall. I'm gonna check how many points I'm behind overall. Actually. I'm gonna check. Now. <laughs> gonna check now. If it comes. Let's see. Cancel. See how many points am I might behind overall? How many points do I have? A forty four. A forty four. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. In the public part of what? I'm about I'm about sixty points behind. Uh. To be fair, I would actually take I would actually take that only sixty point only sixty points behind. Going into the last match over overall, but not gonna win it, I know that. Cause there's only one because there's only one match left. And that's the Champions League final. Who would you say who's who's gonna win the Champions League final this weekend? Chelsea or Man City? Even though Man City, uh, they're Man City, um, Manchester rivals, but unfortunately, I'm going to go for Man City to win the final on Saturday. No joke, it's the truth. Man City are going to be Man City are going to be Chelsea in the final on Saturday because uh, I think the I think Chelsea goalkeeper may not play this Saturday. He collided his back onto the post when I think when Villa got the first goal on Sunday. Yeah, which is bad. <laughs> yeah. So Man City are going to win the Champions League final and that will be the first time in their history for the citizens. Ooh, gonna check what else. Oh god. Courses, you all know I have a new Instagram, new third Instagram page now. It's FPL Ballardi. Don't forget that. Course, it, course of this live stream, it's Mr. Ballardi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if people that don't like, if people that don't like football, do not follow me in this new new page if you're not a football fan. Or, or we could talk about SPL. How did your team? How did your team do? 
that's why I'm that's why I'm doing that new page for a reason. To be fair, I might not do I might not do the deadline streams. To be to 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 be to be to be honest with you, because I'm not gonna have time during 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 the season. Because um, I think pandemic will be nearly over very soon, as we all as we all know. Luke, how are you keeping this morning? Are you well, pal? You must be out to work. Of course, in two weeks in Ireland, the gyms will be back open. That's being confirmed. Yeah. So that's me, Paige, at the moment from, from this season. Of course, I'll be going live. I don't know about them. Don't know about the matches. I could do a live preview on my new pe new page. Maybe in July when players' prices go. What what prices the players are in the new season coming? I say Carry Kane could be very expensive. Could be thirteen million, but that's if he stays in the Premier League. Nothing's been confirmed. <laughs> Yeah, so that's my new Instagram page. I put up on that on Monday. Let's see. Oh, what do you call it? Am I not gonna put other pages? Oh, I don't think I'm not gonna put other pages. I don't think. I don't think. Yeah. I'm a bit, bit bit busy with my new page online, trying to get new um, fo um following and followers. On to be third Insta on to be third Instagram page. Yeah. Who else? Hmm. Oh yeah, had football training last night. Just let you know. Me and Ma had to wrap up me strap around my ankles. Cause me ankle is not is not a hundred percent. Like last night training I did okay. It wasn't it wasn't the best from my standards. Yeah, so um mo most of the shots last night I didn't save it with my hands. Mostly, I saved it with me feet. <laughs> Dived it with me feet. But, but it's a part of your body. When you're, when, when, when you're a keeper. Like myself, though. They gave me a chance to play outfield. <laughs> oh, please, do not put me outfield. Onto me ankles, 100%. <laughs> that could take a long time. Cause I'm, cause I'm not, I'm not young, anymore. Yeah, what else? So um, I won't be training with Castle Celtics thirty fives because I'll be watching the United game and I have to be careful with my ankle. Thursday night I'm training again, and Friday night I have, I have trained with Fairhouse Carmel over thirty fives this Friday. So I can't, so I can't wait, but. But the only problem is when I'll be training with Fairhouse Caramel. I don't think I'll be I don't think I'll be do I don't think I'll be warming up and doing laps. Cause I have to be very careful with my ankle. So I could warm so I could bring cones with me. And practice practice di practice diving the ball. Which I haven't done for nearly Nine nine months or something. Cause I cause I need to get back to goalkeeper level if I can. Like I want I I want clean sheets this year. Yeah, I do want to play outfield, but I only want to play outfield in our time. Well, I can't play outfield at the moment because of my ankles. Very very bad. Yeah, so. Who do you think will win that final tonight in Europe in Europa League final? 
Man United or Villarreal? Well, to be fair, we don't really have to win the final. Well, uh, it, like, 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 we, I want to win the final. I hope we do win the final as a United fan, but the game is more important to Villarreal. If Villarreal win tonight, they're in the Champions League. But if they lose, they won't be in Europa League next season. They will be in Europa Conference League next season. If they don't win tonight in the final. Yeah, so there's three competitions next season, as you know. Champions League, Europa League, Europa Conference League. That used to be the Europa Conference League used to be the former Winners Winners Cup. Yeah, I don't know why they got rid of the Winners Cup in nineteen in in ninety nine. Ridiculous, cause that would have helped other s small teams. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think in the comments? Do you think Europa Conference League is good? I I think it's I think it's good because we need smaller teams not to go bankrupt, not just not just in Northern Ireland, or Republic of Ireland, even the Faroe Islands, Luxembourg. They're not they're not a very big country. Yeah, so I want to see smaller teams doing well. To be honest with you. In Europa Conference League, yeah, get get guess who'll be in that competition next season? Tottenham will be in that competition next season. I think Roma will be in that competition as well. Roma. I think Butcher Butcher Gladbach just missed out Europe Europa Conference. They're not even in Europe. Who else is not even in Europe next season? Arsenal are not even in Europe. Yeah, it's the first time since 95-96 season that they're not in Europe. Yeah. What's going to happen to their big players at Arsenal? Is Aubameyang going to leave Arsenal? Is Lacazette going to leave Arsenal? Could happen, you know. Could happen. <laughs> Could happen. And yeah. I, I think it's a good competition. Because at least, at least it gives them um, smaller clubs opportunity to face against them. Um, big teams in there and smaller teams in there. Because it's a great, great, oppor great opportunity. I think. In, in my mind. <laughs> yeah, so... um. The team that I support in this country, Sean Rickovers, we're guaranteed to at least play six matches. If we don't get through the Champions League qualifiers, our first qualifying game, if we don't get through that, we'll be in Europa League. If we don't get through that, we'll be in Europa Conference. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? But I think we're over... We'll play more than six games in all competitions. I could be wrong. Rovers need to do well in the Champions League this year. If we get to the Europa League group stages, it'd be a great achievement to get for a, for a, uh, for a League of Ireland team. Again, because the Champions League for the Republic of Ireland for the Republic uh, League of Ireland teams. They're not at that level. In the Champions League. Just yet. I don't think they would ever be. To be honest with you. I think the only team for League of Ireland teams. Is the Europa League group stages. Or even. Or even the last 32 of the. Euro Europa. Conference League if they finish if they finish third in Europa League group stages 
That could happen. If that if that was the Europa Conference League a couple of seasons ago, Dundalk could have been in that in the second half of the season. Because I think they came third. Europa League group. Not last season, I think it was 2016-17 season, I think. If if there was a Europa Conference at that time. But fortunately there was only two competitions at that time. I think um smaller clubs that I'm not that I'm not gonna think of or heard of before. That I've never heard of from other countries. It's a big it's a big opportunity for for them and for other teams. Yeah, I think um what do you call it? The Northern Irish League They don't have that much money to be honest with you. So Linfield need to do well in the Champions League. I think because um, even though there's a hate to trade Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland, but we want to see Northern Ireland teams do well, like the like like the League of Ireland teams. To be honest with you, like Shamrock Rovers are, are the most successful club in in League of Ireland. And Linfield are the most successful club in the Northern Ireland. Well, they've actually won, they've actually won more trophies than Rovers. I think that was their forty fifth league title, Linfield. Yeah, but but they're not at that level. I think League of Ireland at the moment is better than the Northern Irish League. To be honest with you, because there's not that many. Full time teams in Northern Ireland, to be honest with you. Yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, I would love to see that happen at Linfield and Trevor Grover's doing well in Europe. Or even or even the Wel or even the Welsh club TNS. I don't know whether I don't know did they win the Welsh League or not this year. Of course, the NBA players are them. Of course. Yeah, we don't know. Don't know what the story is with that. Like, cause the Welsh is actually very small. To be to be honest with you. Like, how come Wales? Oh, sorry, um, Cardiff, Swansea, Wrexham, are playing in the English division. Instead of instead of the Welsh division, but to be fair, their stadiums is actually bigger than than the Welsh league. To be honest with you, so that's why they're playing in the English in the English league. I think that could be a reason why that is uh, happening at the at the moment. Oh, of course, uh, just let you know, uh, my night. Uh, we were unbeaten away all season in the Premier League. It it was a great achievement by uh, Oli and the Oli and the lads. Even though we didn't play our big squad on Sunday, <laughs> so that was a great. So that was a great. So that was a great achievement. Cause cause I love to see my United do doing well again. Cause I'm a. Big Man United fan since I was about ten um, ten year ten years old I think. Yeah, which that was nearly twenty five years ago. This year. Yeah, that was when um Cantona was playing. I was actually probably Cantona's biggest fan. That's how I suppose. That's how I supported my United. And um, that's that's the re that's the reason why. To be fair, I I actually made the right decision. 
We won loads of trophies. I know we haven't won that much trophies since lately. But hopefully tonight, hopefully tonight will be the first of many. Like, we're not taking nothing for granted against Bilal. They knocked out Arsenal in the last round. Fair play to them. But we know it'll be a tough, we know it'll be a tough game tonight. I think we have to watch out for Villarreal would be Sal Gado, who used to play for Tottenham before, but back in the day. Oh God, who who else? Oh, Eric Bay could Eric Bay is actually against his whole club today, cause we actually got him from Villarreal. That's if he's injury free, of course. Yeah, I think that was stupid of the board. Letting Bay sign a new one year contract. Because he's, he's injury prone. Yeah. Uh, what do you call it? Who do I think will sign a new contract? I hope Pogba does not sign a new contract. I know he's done well, but next season he could be very bad. That's why. That's why. That's why I think. Pogba, like he's that sort of player, who's not. Who's not. Who's not going. Who's not going to track back and help his fellow players. Because he doesn't. He doesn't have that in his game. To to be honest with you. But to be very dicker. He has got his crucial goals this season. Including that great goal against Fulham. And I think he got the winner against Burnley as well. Away. Yeah, so he got his crucial goals. But he's not like a now, now goal scorer. Who, who could I compare pair him to? Pogba at the moment. Oh, it's hard to know. It's hard to know. Why Ke Roy Keane was pretty consistent. Probably at the moment, Roy Keane is better. Roy Keane is better than Pogba. To be honest with you, because Roy Keane gives it everything. For 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 from for my United, of course, he was a captain as well, great captain, as well. Yeah, that that's what I looked looked about right kid, even though he likes to break people up, but he gives he gives it everything. He may not have the strongest left foot, like my right. I don't have strong strong right foot. But he did he did get us um a lot of crucial goals. I think he scored two goals away at Arsenal. The two one win. A hybrid. And the Arsenal fans are booing when he scored. Yeah, but home fans they like to boo when players score. To be fair, to be fair, fans actually can't boo players anymore because because um, cause the players might not celebrate might not celebrate too soon anymore as they used to with the BAR now. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't do not celebrate too soon. You might be offside. No, oh, no, I'm offside. Yeah. That's the that's the that story we 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 all have we all have this 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 morning. God. So that's my new Instagram page at the at the moment. Oh yeah, the other the other thing um I will not be doing the fantasy of the Euros this summer because um I'm going to be busy. Because there's like matches every day. And I'm not going to get. And I'm not going to get a chance. 
to play in the Euros this year because um, cause I'm going to be playing on stop football every week. Yeah, because uh, we haven't had the football for a f whole year because of with the pandemic and all that. So, so this this Saturday be my last um, fantasy Champions League until probably until probably until July. When I when I course when the new when the new Premier League season and and then in September the new Champions League fancy starts all over again. Yeah. What what do you what do you think of the Champions League? Do do they think they should play only on the Wednesdays like back in the old days? But I don't I don't think that will happen. I think the Europa League and Europa Conference could be played on the same day on Thursday. Which that would be a lot. That would be a lot of games on the Thursday night. Europa League and Europa Conference League. What matches? What matches are they going to watch? They can't watch them all burgeon next season. Can they? No, that's not. That's not going to happen. Next season. Europa League and Europa Conference. They will have to put lo they will have to put up loads of loads of new channels on Bur on Burgeon. Let's say if the Europa League was to kick off at let's say six o'clock one week and the Europa Conference was to play kick off at eight o'clock. And let's say two two weeks later, Europa Conference was to kick off at six in the second match, and the Europa League was to kick off at eight o'clock. Well, not is it six? No, no, five to six. I mean, five to six. I mean, yeah, maybe they should mix it between the two, cause. Cause they, cause they have, cause they have to be live on um, what do you call it, on um, the bur 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 bird, of course, bird, bird, me, me, media sports. That's what I like to call it. <laughs> mm, to be fair, I think it'd be, I think it'd be a good, I think it'd be a good competition next season. To be, to 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 be to be honest with you, yeah, I'm gonna check gonna check what else is up. Gonna check what else if I can. Oh yeah, on Sunday night, Juventus were actually very lucky to get into the Champions League places, would you believe it or not? Because Napoli can only draw. One up. Europa League final tonight. Injury. <laughs> Don't know what the story is tonight with the team. I say Maguire is still a doubt. Still. He he might he might not even play the Euros this summer, Maguire. Yeah. What else? Um, of course, um, on Monday night, Sean Rogers lost um, at home for the first time in two years. On Monday night, losing at home to Sligo, and now Sligo Rovers are now top of the league for the first time this season. Fair play, play, fair play to the better red. Great result, bad result for us, but that's what that's football. Of course, other results have finished in um, Derry City 2, St. Patrick Lake 2. Finished Bohemians 5, Dundalk 1. I think it finished, um, oh, what do you call it? Was it 
at Waterford play. Oh Jesus. Was it Fim Harps? I could be wrong now. I could be I could be wrong, but I'm gonna check on it anyway. Monday, Monday. Finish Waterford one, Fim Harps two. Draw the United four. Longford Town one. And of course, uh, Bohemians and Dundalk, both teams went down to 10 men. Yeah, so Sligo top, Rovers behind in second. One point behind, Pats three points back. Draw the six points back. And fifth place from Harps are 10 points behind Sligo. They've actually made a good start to the season, have them. Fim Harps. To be honest with you. Yeah. Hold on. So, I think, I think that's all I'm going to talk about this morning. Hopefully tonight. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the Europa League final. Hopefully, the Red Devils will win. Yay! Hopefully, yeah. And have a have 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 a good day. Look after yourselves. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Bye bye, and stay safe.